Hello, my beautiful tribe. I've had a little inkling, a little sparkle that's come into my head, and I'm going to introduce you to something called Psychic Dip. I'm just going to dip into my intuition because this is, I, I tried it on TikTok, it's very popular, and I thought I would try it on here, my darlings. So I hope that this resonates with a lot of you, but I literally am linking in and saying what needs to be said, and I know the right people will see it. So let's give it a go and see if it works. I feel that if you're watching this, that you have got too much going on in your head. I'm seeing kind of like the nine of swords where there's this racing thoughts that are keeping you awake at night. Perhaps you're over analysing things or overthinking things before they've even happened. Perhaps you're creating in your mind conversations that were more colourful than they actually were when they took place. Perhaps someone's renting your head. Perhaps a situation's renting your head. I just keep feeling this overwhelming need to just get people's heads and just go and take out all the stuff that's going on. Nobody ever benefited from having their head being rented for free, full of other people's stuff. And also, there's a saying that someone once said to me, which I think is very valuable for this intuitive um, connection. And that is, it's none of your business what other people think of you. It's very true. Who gives a sh what people think? Um, so let's get out of our heads. This can be through guided meditations. This can be through walking in nature and just allowing yourself to release all of these thought patterns that are going on. When I get something renting my head or I get really stressed, I write it all out in my soul journal. I just write absolutely everything out of my head that's keeping me awake. And then I perhaps do a couple of angel card readings, just to get affirmation of, you know, what's going to happen and if everything's okay. So perhaps try that. You need to get out of your head now because it will exhaust you. And once you've done it, you'll start feeling that sleep's coming back again. Think of things that are conducive to sleep, like chamomile tea, having no alcohol, not eating too late, not watching a screen before you go to bed. Essential oils such as bergamot, which like kind of brings this lovely anti-stress pheromones in. Ylang ylang, lavender. Think of ways to make it conducive um, for you to feel relaxed and to get this stuff out of your head. Um, let's have a look. And um, communication has just come in now. So if there are things that need to be said and done, I need to take a note from this book, um, then say it. Say it to whoever needs to be um, addressed, you know. Um, do it in a respectful way, get it off your chest. I just feel, and I'm seeing the Ten of Wands now, that you are heavily burdened with things that really don't need to be there anymore. So it's time to alleviate yourself of this burden emotionally um, and spiritually and get it out um, so that you can move on. Let me know in the comments below if this works. If it does, I'll make it a regular. Lots of love.